we want to find five solutions to the equation y equals negative 0.5x minus 2. We can also read this y equals negative 5 tenths x minus 2. Each solution will consist of an x value and a corresponding y value that will satisfy the given equation. So looking at the table, notice how they're giving us the x values, so we need to find the corresponding y value for each given x value. Let's first consider the solution when x equals negative 2. If x equals negative 2, then y must equal negative 0.5 times negative 2 minus 2. Notice how to find the corresponding y value, we substitute the given value for x in the equation. Simplifying the right side, we have y equals, well, negative 0.5 times negative 2 would be positive 1, so y equals 1 minus 2, which means y equals negative 1. So one solution is x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 1. Now let's find the corresponding y value when x equals negative 1. So if x equals negative 1, y must be equal to negative 0.5 times negative 1 minus 2. So y is equal to, well, negative 0.5 times negative 1 is equal to positive 0.5. Positive 0.5 minus 2 is equal to negative 1.5. So if x equals negative 1, y is equal to negative 1.5. Next, we have x equals 0. So we'll substitute 0 for x to find the corresponding y. y is equal to negative 0 0.5 times 0 minus 2. Well, negative 0 0.5 times 0 is 0, so y equals 0 minus 2, and y equals negative 2 when x equals 0. Next, we have x equals 1. When x equals 1, y must be equal to negative 0 0.5 times 1 minus 2. So y is equal to negative 0 0.5 times 1 is equal to negative 0 0.5. Negative 0 0.5 minus 2 is equal to negative 2.5. So when x equals 1, y equals negative 2.5. And then finally, we have x equals 2. So when x equals 2, y is equal to negative 0 0.5 times 2 minus 2. So y must be equal to negative 0 0.5 times 2 is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 3. So our last solution is x equals 2 and y equals negative 3. So notice here we listed these solutions in a table. We can also list these solutions as ordered pairs where each ordered pair would be in the form of x comma y in a set of parentheses. So the first ordered pair would be negative 2 comma negative 1. The second ordered pair would be negative 1 comma negative 1.5. And then we'd have 0 comma negative 2 followed by 1 comma negative 2.5 and finally 2 comma negative 3. The reason it's helpful to list these solutions as ordered pairs is because in the next part, we're asked to plot the five solutions and graph the equation. So each ordered pair, which represents a solution, also represents a point on the coordinate plane, where the horizontal axis is the x-axis, and the vertical axis is the y-axis. So to plot the point at negative 2 comma negative 1 from the origin, because the x-coordinate is negative 2, we'd move left two units, and because the y-coordinate is negative 1, we move down 1 unit. This point has coordinates negative 2 comma negative 1 and represents one solution to the given equation. Next, we have negative 1 comma negative 1.5. So from the origin, we move left 1 unit and then down 1.5 units to here. Next, we have 0 comma negative 2. So from the origin, we do not move left to right because the x-coordinate is 0, but because the y-coordinate is negative 2, we move down 2 units to here. The next order pair is 1, comma, negative 2.5 from the origin. We move right 1 unit and down 2.5 units. And then finally, we have the order pair 2, comma, negative 3 from the origin, right 2, and then down 3. Notice how a line will pass through all five points, and therefore the graph of y equals negative 0.5x minus 2 
would be this line here. The graph of y equals negative 0.5x minus 2 is given by this black line. And the five solutions that we found are these five blue points that are on the line. I hope you found this helpful.